Hi, this is Dr. Don. We're going to spend a few minutes talking about the Lab 8 Personal Data Project. Now, this module, this lab, is really one that is intended to be a bit unstructured because it's going to be your project, your choice of the data set to use, your choice of the research question you're going to answer. And I would encourage you just to make sure you're familiar with all the resources we have as you're making your decision about what data set to use and what question to try to answer. This is the main lab page that we're give you the background there. Again, going over some of the goals of the, the course, uh, read data, work with data, communicate with data. And in the, this lab eight, we again have two rehearses and then your report. Now, these are a bit unstructured again, because it's your time. And we give you a few things we want you to do. And, and rehearse one, we want you to pick your data set and report on that, wh what the data set is, where you got it, and then try to frame your research question and start thinking about the type of analysis. And again, you will be using the material that we've covered primarily in the last two modules, six and seven, because that's where we've got uh, the most closely aligned examples of uh, using data to answer questions. So you'll probably be looking at the data sets and then going to look at uh, examples in modules six and seven. Um, in rehearse two, you just continue to work on it. Hopefully by then you will have finalized pretty much the analysis that you're going to run. And again, we're, we're primarily want you to think about the, the downy infer process and the steps in it. And you know now, you know how to look at one of the examples in the rehearse and then insert a blank uh, code chunk and copy the code in there and then edit it very carefully for your data set and your variables of, of interest. And that's really the, the whole process. Um, the only thing that's new this time is that we want you to present a report. Part of the uh, goal of being data literate is being able to communicate with data. And uh, a nice way to do that is a video report. We've got a simple tool you can use if you don't have one of your own, a free tool um, and instructions in the uh, rehearses on how to make that video. And there's an example uh, in the rehearse that shows you what that final presentation will look like. So let's look a little bit more at the resources here. And we find them under this tab, personal data project. We've got these additional resources. So I'm gonna, I've already got that open. I'll click over there. And this is <coughs> that particular set of resources. Uh, the review again about what we're talking about doing in this lab. Uh, a link to data sets. We've got some example code chunks, you know, for simple things you need, like, you know, loading a data file um, and doing some basic charting in case you, you need to look at those. Some tips for some da data rattling. Most of you won't need this um, unless you're going out and getting original data uh, on the internet somewhere. You might have to wrangle a little bit. There's some tips on that. The data sets that we provide are already wrangled, and uh, so you won't have to do that. And then there's some more example problems for the downy infer process, hypothesis test, and how to do confidence intervals, examples of that simple code. Again, most students will use the examples we have in our lab six and lab seven. And then finally is the presentation guide, the free version of Screencast-O-Matic, uh, the how-tos, how to set up, very simple to use. Again, if you want to do it with PowerPoint and make the presentation right there within PowerPoint, you can do that too. Um, whatever tool you already have, you're, you can use that. We just need to get this three to five minute presentation and either the actual recording or a link to it if you, you know, post it on the web somewhere. Um, so let's keep going here and look at the data sets. And we've got a page there, and these are just the, the tip of the iceberg with the data that's available. Uh, these are uh, sets that 
a lot of students uh, will use. And in this first one here is the Texas Public Safety uh, Personnel Employee Data, I should say. And I give you a bunch of example questions that you could uh, ask and answer using the data in these. So one of the first things you'll do is start uh, looking at these various data sets, uh, exploring them. You go ahead and, and open them up in our studio and look at the head and the tail and glimpse and inspect those data sets to get, get sets to get familiar with what's in there. And as you look at them and, and think of these questions, for example, you'll start hopefully uh, remembering what you saw something uh, something similar in either lab six or lab seven. For example, here's the difference in proportion. When we're doing proportion, sometimes we, we can think about uh, two variables and are they independent? Here it would be uh, sex of the person and whether they're managers or non-managers. So there would be two variables, test for independence. So uh, look at these. There's a, there's a bunch here on this page that you can look at and we give you links to where you can get the data if it's, if it's uh, necessary for you to download somewhere. So you can look through these examples. Um, right down at the bottom is a great resource here, Open Intro. Open Intro, remember, is one of the packages that we can uh, load into the library and it's got a ton of data sets that are already cleaned and, and set up here. Um, we go to the data sets there. Um, this is the open intro page here. I'm just going to scroll to the top. And you can see they've got the CSV files already set up. And all you need to do is just click on the little location there and it'll download the CSV file that you can then upload into your uh, RStudio uh, cloud workspace. Um, if you want to use other types of data set there, you could, but we would most easiest to use is a CSV. And you can look at these, and then if you want to get more information about it, uh, you can click and it'll open up and it'll give you more detail, more detail and, uh, even if you click there. And then it gives you the variables uh, that are included in that particular data set. So you can do some of your inspection right there in open intro. So that's basically what we've got to do in uh, the, the lab eight. I did want to mention in the example video of the, of the lab eight report, um, the student used this data set, Vote NSA, and uh, you might recognize that format there again. It's looking to see if the party affiliation uh, is related to or independent of whether or not they would approve NASA using mass surveillance of phone behavior. So that's just kind of an example. Let's just finish up here by taking a brief look at the rehearses and remix pages. And again, this will uh, just walk you through. It's tended to be a bit unstructured, so you can structure your what you uh, submit however it works best for you. Um, give you the, the basic steps again in the downy infer process. And then this uh, rehearse one, pick your data, do some exploratory data analysis, identify your variables, uh, define and refine your research question and be thinking about the analysis you've got to do. And then if we go to rehearse two, we're just finishing up there, you know, polishing your analysis, uh, doing that, those basic steps in the downy infer process that you used in six and seven uh, labs. And then we go over here to the final, and it just repeats what I've showed you here. We give you a basic template, but again, remember, you can put in the sections you want and insert uh, additional code chunks as needed. Uh, as you, you know, copy those original code chunks out of the examples and paste them in. So your final uh, uh, remix report, you know, would generally have these sections in it, but you may have a few additional sections that you insert in there, uh, like your, your data visualizations and those kinds of things. So this is a quick overview, not as quick as I like. And again, 
there's the example report video that we talked about. And again, the uh, how to's on how to use the screencast matic if you want to use that. And that's it. Um, rehearse one, we want you to get that in by Thursday if you can to kind of already pick your uh, data set and your research question. Research two, which, you know, you're finishing up, you get all your analysis done, and then in the remix, you just do your report and submit the uh, components. So I hope this helps.